Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings. Ali Shama here. Welcome to my little man cave and a brief video review of all new Radio Master Pocket M2 Edge TX radio controller. So, in this video, I'm going to give you a closer look at the radio, talk about its features, and of course, in the coming videos, I will also show you how I'm using it and I'll report back how the radio was doing after a month or two. Now, before we proceed, do remember to subscribe and hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications. Now let's get to work. Let me show you a quick unboxing, a closer look at the radio. I'll talk about its features. Let's take a closer look at the Radio Master Pocket Edge TX radio controller. It's right here in my hands. First thing first, I'm going to take out the sticks and add them. So the sticks are stored in the back. The antenna is folding and that's how you will be able to slip it in the pockets. But you should have deep pockets. Well, not money wise, but you know, big pockets so you can still tuck it in your pocket. Yes, it's a still it's a smaller size. And uh, to be honest, in my small hands, people with the small hands, they're going to feel really very good using this radio, flying RC airplanes, RC helicopters. And most importantly, this is basically geared towards the racing drone pilots. If you're flying drones, racing drones, this is absolutely a very nice choice for you to have because FPV racing pilots, they have to carry their drones in the backpack and go around and go to different places to find places to fly. And this radio being a pocket radio is very, very easy to carry for those FPV racing pilots. They're going to be very, very happy with that. If you're flying RC airplanes, RC helicopters, still I would say this is really a nice radio and easy to tuck in, easy to put in anywhere. Now, radio control is available in various shells of different colors. So you want to change the appearance of your radio, you can always buy those shells. I still like this color, charcoal color scheme right here in my hand. It's, it's kind of transparent. You can see the PCBs inside, okay? You can see the guts of the radio inside, but I still like this one rather than the colorful one. I do have one, I do have one blue uh, color for this radio, which I will do a video later on how to change or switch these uh, covers for your pocket radio. There is a small screen right here. Uh, this radio is running Edge TX. Nice to know that. That's the latest protocol, getting lots of updates. So you're gonna have a lot of tutorials. My my channel has a lot of Edge TX video tutorials and more are coming day by day. Now for the button layouts, you have on the face a standard Radio Master button layout, return, uh, page up, page down, telemetry system and model buttons now have come right here in the middle. And we still have this nice, very easy to use and very useful clicker dial. Now trimmers right here have become little joysticks on this radio, okay, and you can use them to do all the trimming of your radio control. Now these are Hall effect gimbals on this radio controller. On the top, apart from the folding antenna, you have a DSC socket, you have a USB port, a USB-C port, okay. You have two three position buttons, okay. So these are one and two. So this is son of a bitch, my favorite SB switch. Now is a three position button, okay. And SC is a three position. So you can run six different flight modes easily using these. So if you're running flight modes, these are easy to configure. Then we have buttons right here, which is SA and SD. So you can press them down and press them up. So they have two position right here. So that means we have two of two position, two of three position, one is spring loaded, 
uh, replacement with SE right here and one dial. After that, in the center, you have little vents. Coming to the bottom of the radio, you have a TF card slot, you have a USB-C charging port and another jack, which probably the audio jack right here. And on the back, you can remove these plastic, uh, flexible plastic covers. And inside that, you can add 18650 batteries, two of them to power your radio controller. On the back, you also have this little port that takes nano crossfire and the Radio Master Nano, uh, ELRS Nano, and they will fit just fine. And now you have the ELRS capabilities. Now, as you know, this radio is available in both CC2500 multi protocol and ELRS versions. I prefer to have these radios um, in multi protocols, and then all you need to do is just get a module you know, ELRS module or Crossfire module or any other modules that you can easily put on the back of the radio and you will have both of the worlds in your hand. That is multi-protocol radio, so you can do a lot with these multi-protocols and a nano external ELRS module. Now, there's one more thing you wanna consider doing. Now, there's one more point why I like to do that is because if you have modules, you have option to have more power on these modules, mm -hmm. but the built-in ELRS version probably just offers m not more than 250 watt of power, but these modules, you can get them up to one watt of power for an increased range. And that is another very good point that you should consider that if you get it, not ELRS version, but multi-protocol version and get yourself a separate module, life is easier, you have both worlds and you have a choice for more power output settings on these modules. So overall, I would say this ergonomics wise, it's really nice and comfortable in hands. Um, gimbals, they feel very, very good. All the buttons are in very good reach. So you have plenty of options to set up your drones, helicopters, and RC airplanes. Now turning it on. Welcome to Edge TX. Hear that, welcome to Edge TX. And you have an Edge TX functionality right here with all the HTX upgrades that will be available. Now, though the screen is pretty small, but it's still the words and every option is very easily visible and you will be able to easily program all the stuff on this screen using the supplied standard Radio Master button layout and the dial. Now, when we come to the system, you have all those games, Asteroids, Breakout, Pong, Simulator, Snake, stuff like that. And then you have Express LRS, you have a Spectrum, Internal and Wizard Loader, TBS Agent Light. So you can set multiple things right here easily. And we have SD card content, we have radio setup, we have global functions, trainer, mode, hardware, sticks, calibration, etc., etc. So all this functionality, of your Edge TX is available on this radio and very easily accessible options. You will be able to program this radio without any issues. If I turn off the light, you can see built-in LEDs make this radio look really nice and cool, especially if you are doing some night flying, the built-in LEDs create a very nice scene right here and make the radio look very nice in your hands. Also notice when you press the toggle switches, you have these green LED lights turning on and off together with toggle switches. So you will also easily notice that the toggle switch is down or up. Very nice, man. I like the lightning. I hope they have, I hope they could give us a little bit more functionality like we could tweak these colors of LED lights using one of using some of these controls that would be very, very nice and cool or like, you know, LED lights running around. Those would be cool to see on this radio to pimp it up and make it look very unique. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. Now for the conclusion, I would say I kind of like the radio. It's a small, it's compact. It, the ergonomic wise, it's very lightweight and fits very well in my hands. And I would actually love to fly some of these 
you know, mini 3D RC helicopters with this uh, pocket radio and see how it feels. Of course, I will also configure some RC airplanes, fly with this radio controller, and even some GPS RC helicopters. Also have some FPV whoops to test with this radio controller and see how it goes. So in the near future on my channel, I will be able to post more videos of how I'm using Radio Master Pocket and probably also some uh, Edge TX video tutorials using the Pocket Radio Controller. So if you need anything, if you have any question, any feedback, you want any kind of video tutorials about this Edge TX Radio Master Pocket, just let me know in the video comments. So stay tuned for more videos coming your way. Have fun. Now, I'm not just gonna play with this radio. I have to play with the Radio Master TX16S Mark II Max Edition. Yeah, there will be a video on my channel and having to have this, yeah, as you have requested, a lot more video tutorials should come on my channel. Thank you.